Okay, here we're asked to solve these simultaneous equations. We know it's simultaneous because there's two of them, and this is a particularly difficult one. Now, they haven't told you really what you're trying to find, but I'm going to explain this very, very quickly. These are both graphs. This graph looks like a circle, and I'll tell you it goes from 6 to 6. This, if you rearrange it, that is the same as y is half x minus 3, which means it's going to go something like this. Now, what we're actually trying to find is an x and a y value of this point, so this point and this point, and here and here, basically where these two graphs meet. That's what we're doing. So to do this, they've quite nicely given me the fact that x is exactly the same as this. So where I have an x written here, I can in fact not write an x, because I know it's the same as this. So every time in the top line I see an x, I'm going to swap it for this. So x squared is actually this squared, because they're the same. So plus y squared equals 36. The only thing I can do now is expand this bracket. Please remember, this squared means times by itself. So that's actually what we have from here. So I'm going to rewrite that whole thing. Now I'm going to expand it quite quickly, because if you're watching this video, you should pretty, be pretty good at expanding. So that's 4x squared, sorry, 4y squared, 12y plus another 12y, 24y's, and there we have 36 at the end. I'll pop on everything else, tidy up, so I've got 5y squared, I've got 24y's, now if I, I'll leave it like this for the minute. Now what I have here is a quadratic equation. I know that because I've got some squared terms. It's not just x's on one side, numbers on the other. When you're trying to solve a quadratic, everything has to be on one side. So this at the moment is there, so it has to be over here. So I'm looking to make my expression here equal to zero. So if I take away 36, it's going to eliminate that. So all I'm going to have left is this. Now, when you're in a position to solve, what you now have to do is think of writing an equivalent expression using factorising. So because there's something common to both of these, I can factorise it using one bracket. Nine times out of ten with these questions, you have to do a double bracket factorisation. But this one is, seems to be quite nice. Now, there isn't a factor, a number factor I can take out, but I can do this. Take the y outside, so it's 5y squared, and y times 24 is 24y. So I'm creating this, basically. This now can be split up into 2, because this means multiplying by, so that times that is 0, which means that y equals 0, and 5y plus 24 equals 0. If you don't fully understand that, I have made videos on this as well, so please check those out, it will be under simultaneous equations. Now if y is 0, that we can go ahead and deal with that, that's one of our answers. This one is a little bit harder to deal with, but 5y plus 24 is 0, you should be happy for me to write 5y is minus 24, Just subtract 24. And then I can work out 1y by doing 24 divided by 5 which is 4.8. So I have one coordinate or here at the moment, one part of a coordinate I should say. So if we go back up to the top, we have two, sorry that's a bit too far, we have two equations of graphs. This is definitely the easiest one to use. So I'm going to rewrite it down here. So x equals 2y plus 6. For this one, where we know y is 0, x is 2 times 0, that's the 2y part, plus 6. We know x is 6. 0 plus 6 is 6. So there's one coordinate, so that's 6, 0. 
and this one is going to be slightly more complicated. So x is two y's, this time y is minus 4.8, so I'm going to go ahead and double that now. Minus 9.6 plus a 6, so that is minus 3.6. So you don't need a calculator at all for this question, unless you're not too good at your mental arithmetic. So we've got my two y values and my two x values. I'm going to write that as a coordinate as well. So it's minus 3.6, minus 4.8. And that's what they're looking for. Two values for x, two values for y. If we go back up here, you can see my diagram is slightly dodgy because I actually met at this point here, 6, 0. But you've got the idea of what I meant.